It's easy to root against the big corporation in the Justice Department's lawsuit against Apple. So what's the case for the tech giant? Al Jazeera reports that the company claims the suit threatens who we are and the principles that set Apple products apart in fiercely competitive markets. The Justice Department is basically arguing that Apple stifles competition by restricting the extent to which its products, especially the iPhone, are compatible with software and products made by other companies. And Apple claims that opening up its ecosystem more, say by allowing users to download apps outside of Apple's own store, would detract from its ability to protect users from scams or data theft. Of course, whether or not to take that risk would be up to the users themselves. Business Insider quotes analyst Dipanjan Chatterjee as telling Fortune that Apple's policy amounts to making decisions on its customers' behalf. Apple could also argue that it's already addressing some of the lawsuit's complaints. In his Bloomberg newsletter Power On, Mark Gurman points out that the company has already removed limitations on contentious services like so-called super apps, cloud gaming, and text messaging. Apple's points will of course be examined in court, but not necessarily anytime soon. The Associated Press reports that this lawsuit is likely to go on for years.